Let's get them heavy metal horns up for our buddy Sam Cupper. He was coming in with this. He's a Shane, you got to do some more Chastain. Um, and we're doing the voice of the cult. Now, I know the voice of the cult to be Ian Astbury. Uh, but that might not be who they're talking about. The voice of the cult. They're singing a song about the cult singer. I don't think so. I think it's about the voice of the cult. Uh, and so we're doing this uh, for Sam, our pal, uh, Chastain. We're going to learn about Chastain. And we have done them once before. And I can't remember for the life of me what, what song it was that we did. But we are going to uh, get into this. And it's uh, the number one banger here on their page. So I'm surprised we haven't done it. Uh, let's learn about Chastain. And then we'll get into the song for Sam. Sound good? Let's do it. Chastain. They got 10,039 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. The top five gems. The number one is the one we're doing here, The Voice of the Cult. That's got 217,000 plays. Then to another record, The Black Knight, 55,000 plays. Ruler of the Wasteland, 70,000 plays. Angel of Mercy, 77,000 plays. Fighting to Stay Alive, 28,000 plays. And it looks as though this album here with The Voice of the Cult, the album is called The Voice of the Cult. So, there you have that. Since we're uh, looking into them albums, we'll get down here and we'll read them all. Um, wow, that's not even their first record. I'm surprised by that. Uh, 1985, Mystery of Illusion. You got Ruler of the Wasteland, 1986. You got The Seventh of Never, 1987. Then 1988's The Voice of the Cult. You got For Those Who Dare in 1990. Next Planet, Please. Next Planet, Please. Uh, 1994, Sick Society, 1995, wow, In Dementia, 1997, you got In An Outrage, 2004, The Reign of Leather, 2010, they still going? Surrender to No One, 2013, Surrender to No One Uncut, 2014, 2015's We Bleed Metal, they're still going! Chastanium, 2017, We Bleed Metal, Sick Society, 2019, The Reign of Kate, 2019, and 1321 comes out in 2021. Chastain, my friends, are still going for it. Unless someone is posthumously or eponymously uh, uh, releasing records for them. What does the 1321 stand for? In 2021, they put it out in an album called 1321. Well, I'll be... Uh, let's look into them related artists. This will tell us who they might have played shows with, who do people listen to when they're in the mood to listen to Chastain. You got a band here I've heard called Oz. Uh, you got a band called Sword. It's not The Sword, but it's Sword. You got Shock Paris. I think we've done them before. The Delightful Vicious Rumors. I saw them live with Sabotage many years ago, and we've done them on the channel. Um, Gravestone. Uh, I don't think we've done them. Attacker, we have done. Oh, these guys are going to be good, I can tell. I mean, we've done it before, but uh, uh, Storm Witch, we've done them on the first listens. Picture, we've done on the first listens. Omen, this is old school heavy metal. Liege Lord, um, Heir Apparent, Crimson Glory. We have done first listens to Crimson Glory and reaction videos to Crimson Glory. Uh, now we're going to get into that bio, and then we're going to listen to the song, The Voice of the Cult. And you've got an image here, and it's a black and white, and it's of a hard rocking band. They got the leather on, they got the pants, and they got the hair, and they got the look, and they're saying, man, we like to rock, brother. We like to rock and freaking rock and roll. So get over here, and let's get some high fives going around. Um, one of the numerous musical projects spearheaded by ind I I don't even know that word, indefatigable, what the hell? Something's going on with my uh, volume knob all of a sudden. That was extremely weird. It like literally turned off. Like it's like, I'm done hearing your voice, bro. Uh, 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 wow, that is so weird, guys. Um, anyways, I'm going to deal with this volume thing in a second. It keeps turning my volume off. It's the weirdest thing. Look, I'm going to try and do this again and see if you can watch that. I mean, it is legitimately turning my volume off. What the hell is going on with that? That's pissing me off. Uh, we're not re we're not really even getting to a dang uh, reading this thing because I got a freaking ghost living in in my phone. 
Uh, the heavy metal band that bears his name has been a fixture in America's underground metal scene for over three decades, but has ra rarely reared its, its head above ground. First formed in 1984 in the headbanger... Uh, in 1984 in Cincinnati, Ohio, Chastain was immediately signed to the shred-loving shrapnel label and featured ex-rude girl vocalist Leather Leon, bassist Mike uh, Skimmerhorn, and, and future Cinderella drummer Freddie Curry. I didn't know that. This quartet performed on uh, Chastain's debut, uh, debut, Mystery of Illusion, later that year, but substandard production values severely hindered its prospects in increasingly refined heavy metal marketplace. I don't know what's going on, but what I am going to do right this minute is turn that app off, and I'm going to restart it because that's freaking me out. I'm having a straight on freak out right now. I've never seen that ever happen before. Have you ever seen that? Get in the comments below and tell me what the deal is with that, why the volume would turn down like that. Um, so we're going to get into the dang song after I get back to the Chastain page. This is, I mean, unbelievable. Spooks and specters and the, and the voice of the, the cult. It's telling me what to do here. All right, it is that time. Let's get into it. Let's do her. Let's do her. Let's do her. Sam? You are, you are witness to something. Call up the, uh, it just did it again. Call up the, uh, the, the ghost adventures jerks and tell them, hey, we got a situation here. Um, okay, I'm going to start that over. It's, t I, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, guys. I, I'm, I'm losing my, I'm losing my freaking cool here. All right, you're gonna have to sit with me while we do this. I mean, I am, I am getting pissed. I have never seen that in my entire life. I don't know how you could possibly do this. I'm restarting my phone right now because this is absolutely. The craziest thing that I've ever seen in my life, Sam. Are, are you are you are you are you freaked out by this? I mean, we just got done doing Blood Good, Michael Blood Good. He might be saying, "I've had enough of you." You know, from we just did the song uh, from Blood Good, "What Follows the Grave." He's going, "That's it. Turn it off. I've heard enough of you." You should have stopped with me, right? All right, this thing's. Firing up. Hello, hello, yeah. I mean, and, and to be honest with you, this phone is extremely old, too. I mean, it's not it's not the hottest uh, one on the market by any means. Uh, but, oh, Jesus, you son of a bitch. Don't you be goofing with that freaking volume knob. Guys, I, I, I'm sorry that we're going through this situation right now, but we're doing it together, and we're doing it uh, as if it was, I don't know, some kind of a live program. It's, it's uh, uh, not something that I like to do, but uh, come on, you son of a bitch. It might just be time for this phone, you know, it just says that's it. Uh, yeah, close the, see now this thing says, hey, the app stopped working. And I don't really turn the phone off that often. Is that something you should be doing like on a regular basis? It's like turning the phone off because I usually just plug it in and let the battery charge. But I don't, I don't like regularly tur turn it off in any kind of way. All right. Let's see. Spotify is now opening again. And we're going to get right to that damn song if, this, if the volume will stay up. I mean, maybe it's my uh, earbuds. I don't know. And you and you already know this is a really old phone because uh, it's taken forever for this thing to open up. And I'm a very impatient, impatient person, and I'm also sweating like a horse pig in this hot, damp room. I mean, I guess we'll find out if I clip some of this out. I don't know if I will or not. Spotify isn't responding. 
Yeah, and it's got the volume down. <clears throat> Come on, you son of a bitch. All right, here we go. Man, that was a long difficulty. Let's do it now. Chastain, the voice of the cult. Here we go. It's got a nice, uh, kind of a trippy album cover there, though. This is the one with Freddie Curry. Huh. Sound pretty good. Leather Leon. We'll never I like her voice. Got a bit of a world uh, of a Doral passion there, huh? Well, they are the voice of the cult. I like it. Yeah, I love it. It's got that delicious old school 80s heavy metal sound. Giving the drummer some. They have two guitar players. Double it up. This bit right here reminds me of something Wasp would do. Nothing doodle though.
So they're the cult leaders. We are the vice. Guys, we have just been through hell with this song. Uh, and I'm telling you right now, you were just witness to some, uh, unless, unless some tech guy can get in there. What's this? Boom, boom. I got something itching my goddamn neck, too. Jesus. Okay. And, and now we didn't want to turn off there. Well, I, I think we are in the midst of some kind of freaking thing going on. Oh, that was called the Black Knight. I love some of this old artwork, too. It's a lady like uh, some kind of black, uh, kind of demon-esque kind of warrior guy on a black, uh, black steed and some naked ladies in the ocean. In the, oh, my goodness. What are you doing? You've, have, you've, you've, you've come to attack me. Sam, you are witness to something here that's uh, that should be on the some kind of a ghost uh, TV program or something. It's going up. I don't care. I, I I don't I don't care. It's going up. Uh, get in the comments below and tell me what you think of Chastain. We are the voice of the cult. Uh, good, great, fantastic. Yes, Shane, I'm a huge fan of Chastain. I have been for many, many, many years. You're right that they are old school heavy metal. Uh, Leather Leone on the vocal there, sounding great as ever. Um, all-time favorite songs and all-time favorite albums for this band. Were you ever lucky enough to see Chastain? What's the deal? Why do they go into the shadows and hide and then they pop out and then they don't? Are they back? Are they doing things? Are they ready to reveal themselves? How are they doing? Is everything okay? Uh, I would love to know if you've ever seen, Ch if you saw Chastain back in the day. Uh, in their in their prime going at it uh, all-time favorite songs and album and uh, yeah get down there and tell me or you could say not good not great Shane I am scared to death because we just saw paranormal activities in your video I cannot believe that and another thing I can't believe is that we had to sit through the whole damn thing and you didn't you decided not to edit any of it out that is absolutely insane to me song was all right nothing to write home to Aunt tell us about but not my cup of tea don't want it don't need it never gonna listen to it again I will watch this video again for the paranormal aspects though um, that's all I got. Um, Sam, there's your thumbs. Uh, if you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, you'd like me att to attempt to try and do it, um, you can hit one of them links in the description below, or you can uh, put it in the comments. If you put it in the comments, I see it, I like it, and we haven't done it here on the channel, I'll hit it with a heart and tell you I'm going to do it for you, okay? That's all I got. We are the voice of the cult. Mm.